Hi, I'm Leah Burhana. My pronouns are she, her, and hers, and welcome to the Star Vista channel, a space where we share updates and conversations with the Star Vista community. Today, you'll meet a HAPY alumni. HAPY is our health ambassador program that educate youth in mental health and wellness and trains them to become health ambassadors in the community. A lot will share her story and how she is supporting youth mental health today. Hi, everybody. Today I'm joined by Alat Alize, a previous Starvisa Half White Youth. Alat, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, Leah. I'm very excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Once again, my name is Ala Alize. My pronouns are she, her, hers. And I participated in the Star Vistas Half Y program back in 2018. Great. Thank you for joining us. Um, can you please tell us how you discovered Star Vista? Yeah, so in my uh, junior year of high school, I joined the leadership class where I was placed into the wellness committee. And my job was to help promote a healthy student body. Most of what we did was hosting themed weeks that were meant to de-stress students and make resources available for them if needed. However, I always felt that we could do more to support the students. And it wasn't until my senior year when I started to gain an interest in mental health that I realized that mental health struggles among teens is a really big issue in high schools. And thankfully, I was in a position as head of my wellness committee where I was able to share my ideas and help implement more mental health education into the student body by first starting up a mental health awareness month and then the very first mental health awareness assembly. And during the experience of planning the assembly and the month, we worked very closely with a psychiatrist from Stanford and a member of the Star Vista team. And it was actually through my leadership teacher that the Star Vista team reached out to and thought that my committee might be interested in the half by program, given our past work with them. So she forwarded us the email about the program and I found that it aligned with my interests, which were, you know, learning about mental health illnesses, how to destigmatize mental health, and you know, the emphasis on educating the community. Wow, that's amazing. I'm so just honored to be sitting here with you today and learning more about your connection to Hapwai and Star Vista. Can you tell it? Tell all of us a little bit more about your experience, your experiences at Hapwai. So I found the Hapwai program, first off, to be a great opportunity for me to educate myself, my fellow classmates, and my community about mental health. So I joined, and throughout the time that I was in the program, I was certified in RAP, QPR, and NAMI, along with learning about signs, symptoms, and treatments of men many mental illnesses. And it was really great because while I was in the program, there was a really nice balance between the learning material and discussion. So we were given the opportunity to reflect on the material that we learned and how it may affect ourselves or others. And I'd like to mention that one of my best experiences that I've had with the HAPY program was actually during the community outreach projects because I was able to connect with my audience in a way that felt somewhat vulnerable. Because, you know, we've all either know someone that has struggled with mental illness or have had personal struggles and being able to show people that you're on the same level and tell them, hey, you are not alone, or these are some signs and symptoms that are really important to recognize. You know, it can make all the difference. And it makes people more comfortable with the idea that mental illness is real and it's not something to be scared of. And I felt that I was in that unique position because I was a peer to those I was presenting to. And it really helped send the message home. Wow. So how did you apply what you learned through Hapway in your community? So during the HAPY program, we had the community outreach projects where I got to share a lot of what I learned in the program to the groups I was presenting to. And through those experiences, I felt better prepared in answering difficult questions about mental health and being able to give people useful resources and tools that they could use and share. And it was really great because after the program, I used a lot of what I learned during that pro process to continue educating my local community, you know, my friends, my family, my college campus, some of which we're not familiar with or we're very sensitive to the topic. And you know, the big idea nowadays is to destigmatize mental health. And I always found that it's best to lead by example, showing people that you're an advocate as well as a resource to them that's approachable and available. 
And I've continued this work by staying active with Star Vista and being a peer advocate in my community. And I understand now that, you know, through my experience in the Hapi program, I did not realize how much I did not know about mental health. And, you know, I'm very grateful for the learning experience that I had with the Hapi program and at Star Vista. Thank you so much. Um, I hear you're working on something pretty exciting. I hear that you're working on a project on Instagram to support youth and mental health. Can you share a little bit more about that? Yeah, so I actually started up a mental health campaign called Care, Think, Act on Instagram with a few of my college friends. And, you know, we were highlighting, basically, it's a platform where we highlight different ways people are taking care of their mental health and posting them on our page. And our purpose is for people to recognize that it's important to care for yourself, to think of different ways that you can support your mental wellness and then to act on those needs. And my goal right now is to support the community, especially now during this pandemic, to offer my page as a resource to what you can do for self-care and recognizing you know, that maintaining a healthy mind is just as important as maintaining a healthy body. And these new circumstances, you know, they created an immense amount of stress, including, you know, financial hardships, school struggles, uh, sick loved ones, and much more. And uh, in the beginning of the pandemic, we saw a big emphasis on taking care of your physical health, which is still very important, um, but then not a lot on mental health, thinking, you know, we're not going to be in a, you know, stay at home order for long. And unfortunately, the reality is that we're still struggling with this pandemic, and the mental wellness plays a large part of physical health. So practicing self-care for five to 10 minutes a day really can make the difference. So if you're interested or would like to check out our resource, you can find us at Instagram at carethinkact, or you can email us at carethinkact at gmail.com. I cannot thank you enough for all of your efforts and all of the work that you're doing. Thank you so much for being with me here today a lot and for joining us and sharing your experience with HAPY, our program. Um, Star Vista strengthens communities through individuals just like you who are passionate about mental health and wellness. As a mother of three kids, three teenagers, I really, really admire what you're doing and the impact that you're making by applying what you have learned from the program. If you're watching our program today and would like to like learn more about HAPY, please go to our website. Thank you everyone for joining us today and watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can be notified when a new video is released and have a Star Vista day. <laughs>